Welcome back to Night City. All right, Pan Am uh, called with an SOS, so we're gonna like head out and try to help her out. All right, we're here at the Aldecados camp. It's fun, Pan Am. Sure, we can pack, we can ride, but what then? The contract's dead. We've got no reason to stay. You're the only ones breaking camp. Casal doesn't know when to quit. He's stubborn as a mule. Yet everyone listens to him because... Because he's head of the family? Because the Aldecaldas stay together? I know. The rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. Are we preparing for a visit from Biotechnica? Or a fourth corporate war? V, you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. you God, no notion what's going on. I have no fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Well, since I wow. left. Seems a lot changed while I was away. No, nothing has changed at all. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else out before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. You're being usually quiet, unusually quiet. Being unusually quiet. What's up? I see no point in arguing with Saul. We can't win. So, given up? Of course not. We'll take the Basilisk ourselves, then wait for Saul to admit we were right. Either that, or to boot us out of the family. I thought the Biotechnica job was a bust. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What this? What's this about a basilisk? What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Yeah, yeah, Shame okay. not to say hello. Oh, right. Well, I really need this order. Let me guess your uh, idea. Let me guess. No. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed yeah. if it uh -huh. was. Yes. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk is this basilisk worth a fight with uh, Saul? Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Remember when you told me to give you a good kick in the pants? Remember a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do, yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope, different that. Rescue mission, someone from the family. Now, you're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Basilisk, what's Saul's problem with it? Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. 
And I thought you and Saul were getting back, were getting good. I thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. Alright, what's the plan? What's the plan? And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. All right, Mitch, go ahead. Just the vets on board? So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. In this situation, you got nothing to say. You try to get Saul on board again. No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. It all seems mm -hmm. too perfect, too easy. I'm short. It's all too... Easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Coming your way almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks the high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys? Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, clear? I know, but you guys? Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know, but you guys. A few years back, nobody would have given Corporal Work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. All right, on the one hand, I think this is fishy, but on the other hand... Is everything clear? But on the other hand, it's like, I don't want to see her get hurt. Oh, fuck. All right, okay, I'm in. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Huh. I'm riding with. How are you? Riding with you. You know how it Excellent. is? Let's get going. Uh, precisely. We are all cooped up together. What can we do? I know, I know. Do not I work. think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, come on. Did you get your hands? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even that. Let's go. No one at camp is going to notice you gone. Nobody's going to notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. Better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. Expecting Raffin trouble? The Raffins? What about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease.
Night City, don't miss your life there at all? You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning, of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah, took some adjustment for me too. Yeah, took adjustment on my part too. Though, uh, never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I remember that. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? And how do you plan to move the engine? You plan to move this thing how, exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. The tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Nothing goes wrong, Pan Am will be the one to pay. Read the opening line. You know you're in for a lovely thousand page ride. What you doing? I mean, what are you two doing? Just listen. I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. While Teddy is just being dead weight. Don't let me interrupt. Stay out of your hair then. Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? Got a use for me? Um, got a use for me? Not particularly. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Not really, no. Well, actually, Pan Am asked for help. Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? Alright, whatever, let's go. Need a hand? Of course, but in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. I can just rip that door open. Even if we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. I can see his face already. You used to be afraid of Saul. Remember when we first met? You almost had a pound in your pants at the thought of falling foul of Saul. I don't recall leaving Pan Am high and dry, though. Now you're gonna stick it to him plain? Does <laughs> something change? Uh-huh. I realize Pan Am is right. How's it going? How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, and nothing works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitor's damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. Thanks, V. No problem. Oh. 
Oh, well, that was easy. How did you weasel your way in there? Here I opened the damned door. Be right there. I'm a ninja. What do you expect? I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Carol! What are we looking for? Hot cards! What cards? Hot oh, cards! Would you help me look? Punch cards? Sure thing. Not here. Is that? That's encrypted. Closing the factory. in here. Huh. I'll take the money. Components. Hmm. Found them. Well, well, well. Let's take a look around a little bit more. Always use some more meds. Got something. Good job. Carol, we have a card. What now? You have to put it in the reader. Well, V, the card in the reader. Here goes nothing. It worked. Come look. Little engine that could. Thanks for the commentary, Johnny. V, I wanted to speak with you. What do you want to talk about? What did you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? I know it's important to you. Because it's important to you. But... is that all? I... sorry. That sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. 
and I would not want to cock this up. <laughs> Guess you gotta start somewhere. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it different with me? Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. <laughs> next time, try following the impulse. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. With a little help from my friends. Uh, I'm not her babysitter. Shit. Still Get your checking. ass down a minute, honey. Three. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Worried about Saul? Worried about Saul. Quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another one so hard. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Guys, don't talk about the war much. You don't talk about the war much. Like, uh oh, that was a touchy subject. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water. 
Because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. I think I'll try and get some shut eye. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. I can tell you, you won't be getting any sleep. Wake me up if anything happens. Anything happens, wake me up. Unless you want a nap too. <laughs> I'll just lie here a while. By your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. <laughs> Good night, B. Everyone ready? ready? Let's ride, V. All right, let's do this thing.
All is planned, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You better move. Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. Someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. No, this is gonna be fun. Fuck! And now! So it begins. Uh-oh. meaning of this exactly what you see the basilisk all i see is two trucks with giant militech logos on them fuck pan am you can see them from miles away you think we don't have problems enough on our hands the raffins could rear their heads at any moment and now we have militech to worry about too stop it fuck just shut up already do you want to serve corporations forever fine go right ahead in that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Man, that's some lungs you got on you. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. Everything all right? Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, let me know. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. I'm gonna borrow one of these. Or not, never mind.
Alright guys, I'll see you guys I'll see you later. Peace.